Welcome, Waffle Waffets. We are back with the brilliant Far Cry 6 on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in the previous video, we took down one of Castillo's Chebacco farms. And our new objective now is to help out a guy named Benito, who wants me to get some fuel for his boats and also take down a lieutenant that has been harassing his men. So I think what we're going to do first is we are going to head over to the fuel station. We're going to take over the fuel station so we can start providing some fuel to Benito. And then once that's done, we are going to head up into this new area right here, this rank 4 area. So it's going to be a bit more challenging. And we are going to take down the lieutenant that has been harassing Benito and his men. So let's jump straight into things. Now we also received a very cool car from Juan in the previous video. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to drive straight into the camp, hop onto the mounted gun and just go to town on everybody. And if that doesn't work, then maybe we'll go in a bit more stealthily. <laughs> Juan, this is a nice car. Definitely one of a kind. <laughs> now go get those fascist tiger. I'm not a tiger, mate. I'm a wolf. You're not seeing the name of my YouTube channel. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You. Yeah, you. All right. What do you know? We found a sacred site dedicated to Triada. There's treasure in there, but it's guarded by spirits. I don't want any part of that shit. I wish you luck, compai. I appreciate it. Okay. Now, when he says it's guarded by spirits, obviously you would think he's just being superstitious, but as this is a Far Cry game, I wouldn't be surprised if we go to that location looking for treasure, and then there is actually some sort of dodgy spirit that we need to have a fight with, so <laughs> maybe we'll check that location out at some point. Oh, actually, no. No, we're not going to drive into this place. No, we're not going to drive into this place because I think I can actually swim across and I can go through the back way and I can take most people down stealthily. Benito wants me to take it back from the army. It's an FND base now. The army has bases all over the island. To break their grip on the island. I'll do what I can, Clark. Oh, oh, shit! That's a bad dog! Oi! Go away! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! Did the dog bite me? Who's supposed to revive? Well, could Guapo revive me? I think Guapo's not even nearby. I think Guapo's very far away. Oh, unless that gorilla's going to revive me. Oh, this is just... Oh, there's Guapo. Look, you see him in the distance. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You can do it, Guapo. Come on, little guy. Oh, no. Oh, I think it's because I was in the fire. Oh, that was a waste of, like, one minute. <laughs> I had to reload, so I started trying to chop up the, uh, the troop with my uh, machete. But I think the Rottweiler might have bit my ass. Oh, what did he put me all the way over here for? Guerrero. I already spoke to you. What's up? There's a giant hog that swam all the way from Anton's fucking zoo on the island. Kill it, Guerrilla. Help these people. Thanks a lot. A giant hog? Man, this guy's giving me all the information. Thank you, but thank you, buddy. Yeah. Easy now. Easy. God, another Rottweiler there. You see that? I'm not, I'm not sticking around to fight the Rottweiler. I don't want to shoot it. That's the problem. I always feel bad shooting the dogs because obviously the dogs, they're not in control of what they're doing. They've been trained to do this shit. So they don't know that they're the bad guy. That's the problem. So I kind of feel bad. <laughs> Heading to the fuel depot. Benito wants me to take it back from the army. It's an FND base now. It's an FND base now. Danny, the army has bases all over Yara. We won't freedom. 
I'll do what I can, Clara. Clara, I'm at the depot. Libertad needs that fuel. So taking that depot isn't just about dealing with the army. It also means securing that gasoline. You've got to do this smart, Danny. Find some high ground and use your phone to scout out cameras and alarms. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I don't need to do any of that. I already know where the uh, alarms are. Sneaky. Why do I take a bit of damage when I was in the water? Did you bite me, Guapo? Was it you? Did you just bite me for fun? Or was there like a piranha or something? Oh, what was that? Did I get bitten by a fish? <laughs> you see, I just took a bit random bit of damage for no reason. Ah, oh, I can already see a sniper up there. Yeah, because I think there's a little gap in the fence over here that I used. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Two headshots. Beautiful. Right, Guapo, I need you to come over here. We need to be able to take something down quietly for once without you causing all sorts of mischief, okay? So you're going to stand right here. If I need you, you can just... You have permission to come running to save me. But if I don't call you, don't follow me. They're probably going to see the bodies anyway. Requires storage room key card. Uh, once you've took over the place, you automatically get the key card, but it's in a little office, so it's uh, not too hard to find it. Yeah, one of them's looking for uh, looking for me now. How did that not hit them in the face? I don't think they even saw me because I had a silencer on the gun. was that? What the hell was that? Was that you, Guapo? There's a lieutenant. I get in there, Guapo. The stealth mission didn't go very well, did it? Bonus rewards. Oh shit, there's another crocodile. Oh shit, Guapo's got a friend. Hey, 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 leave Guapo alone. That was a foul, wasn't it? Gotta turn that bus. Over here. Hmm. A key. Oh, Guapo's always dad. Guapo goes down more than a stripper. If you do come in here and you take down the alarm without being seen, you can um, get yourself a bonus reward. Same with emptying all of this fuel. Or turning it off, I can't remember. Something to do with it. Alright. That didn't go very well, did it? <laughs> resources but we didn't take down the alarm okay <laughs> oh is there a gun uh... there 
It says there's a gun seller here. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh no, that's you, Guapo. Never mind. Benito, the fuel station oh, is open are. again. You can take as much as you need. Okay, Danny. But now is the hard part. The Commandant Rosario is a murderer, and she's not going to stop. As long as she's alive, this island is safe. I hear you, Benito. Hi there. Stay strong. Yeah, that's going to be the more difficult Yabula, mission, taking down her. Okay, now you could do two different things. You can trade your uh, materials for money, but you might not want to do that because I feel like a lot of this is actually very useful. I guess some of it might not be useful, but you could also buy weapons over here, and I think they're random as well. Actually, this one I think was pretty good. Yeah, acquire additional crafting materials. This might be a good thing to just buy and wear anyway, especially if you're trying to upgrade some of your weapons. Is that a shotgun? Oh, yeah, we're going to grab a shotgun. That would be a good good replacement for my uh, FAL, my FAL, whatever they're called. We're going to buy this. 400 pesos. What's the currency? Is it pesos? I can't remember the currency now. Sweet. Okay, so my primary weapon, we're going to make that a shotgun. Because the amount of times they get close to me, it'd be good to have a shotgun. Okay. Right, we can't upgrade anything yet. Oh, we can get this. Slightly improves bullet spread when firing from the hip. That could be good. Charms. Ah, oh, sweet, we've got a little car. Or a set of bullets. I think we're going to go with a little car, actually. That's adorable, that is. Appearance. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. Primary weapon two. See if I can get any more upgrades for this bad boy. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful, that is. Might as well put a charm on this as well. Can I get like a... Oh, look, we can get a scope for it. This is what we needed. Improvised four times mid-range optic scope. An improvised short-range sight. I don't know which one I would want. I guess this one, to be honest. Man, I've got a few options, actually. I'm going to go with this. See if I can upgrade my flamethrower quickly. Which one is it? Nah. Oh, no. Nah. I just used my stuff. Yeah, I need gunpowder again. All right. Okay, never mind. Can't even change the appearance of it. All right, sorry about that. A lot of faffing around I needed to do then. Got a nice scope for this, though. Oh, that's much better. Look at that. We can aim a lot better like this. Okay, that's good. All right, so we're going to fast travel. Oh, first things first, actually. I think I already uh, received the key card. But if you don't receive the key card for some reason, I think it might be in this little uh, this little um, building right in front of me. But uh, I think once you take over the place, you automatically get it. But then you can come and open up this door. Yep, we already got it. Oh, sweet. Is that a Tommy gun? Oh, hell yeah. Can rename ourselves Bugsy Malone. I ain't got you, Rosario. Man, Bugsy Malone, that flipping film is amazing. It's called Bugsy Malone, ain't it? With the kids and their cream pie guns. <laughs> cream pie guns. <laughs> flipping filth, ain't it? Fucking cream pie. Oh, yeah, that's, see, that's where the key card is. But we've already got it. I'm just looking around for any scrap at the moment. Another new recruit, Coño. Okay. Right, we're going to fast travel to this little town and we're going to make our way over. Oh. Oh, one of the locations has vanished. Oh, well, oh, look, that's where the, uh, that's where the hog is. <laughs> is it? Yeah. 
Hunt Mama Tutio. Yeah, okay. It's probably a good thing we did the fuel uh, the fuel area first, because uh, we might have run to the wrong one. Because I think there's two different locations, but one location the uh, lieutenant isn't actually at. It's a shame I can't ride Guapo. I'm not going to drive over there because if I remember correctly, this place has a lot of tanks. Why can't you jump these walls? Wind chimes. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? You gotta love a good wind chime. They got some wind chimes uh, where I work. Oh. oh, what are they? I don't know what they're for. So we gotta find some sort of pictures to unlock the chest. Oh, well, I'm not gonna faff around doing all that. We ain't got time for that. But yeah, in the school I work at, there's a bunch of wind chimes, but they're very creepy. Especially when you're in the school at night on your own, and it's uh, very dark in the winter and that. Because in the summer, I'm normally done before it gets dark. But in the winter, it's dark very quick. It's darker like half four, ain't it? But, um, yeah. <laughs> in the flipping winter, with those wind chimes going in the dark. A bit, bit, a bit creepy, a bit om ominous. Om ominous. Ominous? Is that the word in it? Ominous? Forgetting how to speak English again. I probably should have grabbed that car. Oh, we're nearly there. It's only 100-ish metres. <clears throat> I want to come over this way because uh, you get a nice elevated position and you can mark all of the uh, all of the troops in that. And I think there was one sniper that kept causing me lots of trouble. I also need to remember I've still got my Supremo. I haven't actually showed it properly yet. I hear you're heading into the province of Bencejo. Yeah, taking care of a Comandante problem for Benito. Watch yourself. The military in Bencejo is much stronger Better equipped and better trained. Find some high ground, do some scouting before you pull the trigger. Remember, rule number nine, right tool for the right job. Rule number ten, shut the fuck up. You're an adult and can make your own decisions. Spread your wings and fly, little bird. I think she might be in a different camp. I think this is the one where I came to first and she wasn't here. Unless, I'm gonna comp unless I clear this camp and then it's going to tell me she's not here. Because last time I came here, she wasn't here and I had to go to the other one. And the other one was the one where there was tanks. And I think she bloody jumped into a tank. <laughs> and it caused all sorts of problems. Oh, hang on. Oh, there she is. Yeah, she's here. Okay, she's at the easier camp then. Well, if she isn't at this camp and you come here, um, the second camp's got tanks. And she likes to jump in a tank. So be aware. Because um, the tanks, they hit very hard. <laughs> very hard. But the best way to take them down is with your Supremo. I can take down the Sniper. Because I think when I first came here, I brought my car up here. The one that Juan gave me. And I was just like, I was just mowing them all down from up here. Try to call back up now. Sweet. I took down the alarm and I just killed the sniper, so that's good, that's good. <clears throat> I can't remember what kind of ammo this gun's got. See, I shot him in the head the first time and he didn't die. The second time it counted as a headshot. Uh oh. You know what, I could probably bust out my Supremo from up here and I think it might work. Let's try it. Oh, 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 that was sexy. I don't know who that was down there. 
the lieutenant's over there. Look at her trying to call for backup, pussy. Here hey, we got her. I need to get out of combat and away from the restricted area. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to go in there and have a look around. We hit him because I heard a I heard a blood splat. I can't see with the smoke. Oh. <laughs> Okay, right. Before we leave the restricted area, I just want to have a look around in here because I think there's some good stuff. There she is. <laughs> oh, we've got her munitions armory keycard as well, so there must be a secret room in here. Oh, we got another one anyway. It's bloody hell. The amount of extra key cards I've got lying around. What is the point in having these key cards? I've got like 10 of them. <laughs> it's just so easy to get into their secret stashes. I think it's down here. Yep. Oh, look at this. And once we've done this, then Benito should join our team. Oh, look at that. We've got a little SMG. Very nice. But then Benito will uh, join back with Clara's team. Because he, he wasn't working with Clara anymore because he lost a few men. And he was pissed off when they first invaded this island. So he didn't want to work with Clara anymore and lose any more men. But if we do this for him, then he'll join back with Clara. And he will supply boats for us so we can get back to Libertad. So uh, that's why we're doing this stuff for Benito. Collect medicine. So is the medicine just for trading for money? Come on, my neighbour's dog is going crazy. Alright, let's leave the area and let's finish this mission. I look at this little secret area to get into the place without being seen. That's why you've always got to have a good look around in this game. Okay, Benito. Rosario is dead. And the fuel is flowing again. See, si, carajo. I admit I got my doubts about Clara, but I never doubted you, compai. I know a thing or two about looking out for your own. Tell Clara I'm heading to her camp. She's got our boats and our support. Gracias, Danny. There is a massacre happening on that beach over there. We've got a couple of uh, Castillo's men and a couple of alligators going crazy. <laughs> it looks like we've got somebody we need to rescue. Oh, sweet, a fishing rod. Benito's back on your side. He's on his way to you right now. Shit, Danny, gracias. Now get your ass back to camp. It's time to get off this island. Just remember our deal. I've paid my rent and name so. One of those boats has me sailing to Miami. I like how that gorilla saved you and wouldn't even unwrap you. Te debo mi vida. No hay problema. What? <laughs> Got yourself a gun, have you, mate? Very nice. You are an arsehole. Next time you see a hostage, actually bother to rescue him. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, 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 don't you start shooting at me. Oh man, all the gorillas are livid. Well, I'm sorry, he deserved it. Leaving hostages tied up like that. Okay, right, we need to go back to Clara's camp then.
Do you know what? I don't know if I've got time to do it. No, I probably ain't got time to do it. I was going to say, maybe we should go and take over that. But I don't think we're going to have time to do it. There's quite a few chests around here. Shall I quickly go and grab that? Libertad crate. Yeah, we're going to quickly go over and grab this. I'm not going to have enough time to do the next mission anyway. I've only got about four-ish minutes left, so... Yeah, we might as well grab out a few crates for the uh, remainder of this video. Have a walk around, shoot a few animals if we can, so we can uh, trade their meat for some resources and all that good stuff. That should be nice, shouldn't it? Well, it won't be nice. Nobody wants to shoot an animal, but it's a game, so it's all good. It's all good. Cat. Oh sweet, that looks a bit like um, Aiden Pierce from Watch Dogs 1. I wonder if that's like a little, uh, a little uh, Easter egg. Let me have a look at that. Are we still wearing the weird thing? Yeah, we don't need to wear this at the moment. What does this do then? Improve maximum stamina. Oh yeah, that looks bad. It doesn't look like Aiden Pierce at all. But that does look flipping badass, doesn't it? That's the kind of stuff you should be wearing. Hide your identity as well, so it's a win-win. Yeah, we're just going to spend some time grabbing up these uh, crates, and then next time we're going to go back to Clara's camp, and we are going to... Um... I guess head back to Libertad. But yeah, I, I, for some reason I thought... Um, I thought Danny wanted to go to uh, Mexico, but I guess it was Miami. <laughs> But you know he's not going to go back to Miami. Of course he's not going to take a boat and go to Miami. Because this bloody game would be very, very short if he did. I, 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 get back, Pumba. I saw ya. I saw ya. Like how you don't even have to loot their corpses. You just walk over them. Oh, sweet. Look at this little building here. This is very nice. Look at that. Free Flamingo. Might take that back to camp. We can give it to uh, Juan. What are you shooting at? What's your problem? Better be shooting a guapo. Sweet, we're getting like a, a flipping parkour set or something. Uh, I don't really want to just wear a load of parkour stuff because even though you're running for a long time, it would be nice. It's not that useful for combat, is it? Oh, look, it's one of those. Um... Yeah, look on the map. It's one of those little shrine things here. Yeah, these things. They gave me a ton of experience last time. I didn't get as much this time. The other one gave me a load, I think. All right, well, I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf Morpets. So next time, we will go back to Clara's camp, and I guess we're going to hopefully head back to Libertad, or something bad's going to happen. I guess we'll find out. But yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf Morpets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully the commentary was okay in this video. I'm, I'm very distracted at the moment, as I already spoke about in my Q&A. So sometimes I'm thinking about a lot of stuff, and then my commentary takes an absolute nosedive. So if this was one of those situations, I do apologise. But yeah, thanks for watching Wolf Warbets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.